Are you recording me? I am. Could you not record me, please? I could not, but I'm going to. What information of mine do I need to put on this form? Um, you need to fill out the form completely, so everything that's there and then what you're asking for at the bottom. Your um, information goes here, what you're asking for here, mm -hmm. how you want it back here, you need to sign it, I'll your ID when you come back up. Yeah, it's your civil right. Just so you know. I'm attempting to document the process of what it's like to come into police headquarters and file a simple public records request according to Washington state law and according to the information presented on your website. But of my personal information, do I need to put on this form to submit the request and have Just it processed? Just your name, I need to see ID. If I pulled out RCW Washington State Public Records Law and showed you that it doesn't have to be signed, that I don't have to provide ID, that all those things are not true, and I just want to get this request done the legal and lawful way. You would, you would accept it or what? I mean, not for all officers, because all officers are not the same. Some have, some have a, a high level of integrity and respect for the law, and some enforce their feelings and egos. So that's essentially what we're dealing with here. Thank you. You want me to call the police? Before we get into this video, viewers should note that the violations exposed here, although accrued in a somewhat friendly manner, are actually incredibly insidious. And while I was able to assert the law, the ordinary citizen visiting SPD headquarters is compelled and even required to waive their fundamental rights in order to access public records. Now, this is the headquarters of a major metropolitan police department. So, as standard operating procedure, one can just imagine the number of violations we're talking about here. Do I have to... Uh, what do you need? Uh, I'm doing a public records request. Yeah, uh, you have a number, they'll call you when they can. Okay. Um, Hello, ma'am. How you doing? I need to do a public records request. Okay. Um, are you recording me? I am. Could you not record me, please? I could not, but I'm going to. What information is required? For what? A public records request. Um, what do you mean what information? What do you need what, to have? What information of mine do I need to put on this form? Um, you need to fill out the form completely, so everything that's there and then what you're asking for at the bottom. Your um, information goes here, what you're asking for here, mm -hmm. how you want it back here, date it, sign it, I'll need your ID when you come back up. Okay, and uh, let's see. So right here it says it has to be signed. That's 
yep, sign it and date it. What about attaching um, secondary sheets? Is it okay if I have something that I've written myself in this folder attached attach to this? That you want. It's not our unit, so it's up to them of what they're going to do with it. But yeah, you can attach it if you want. Okay. What do you mean, not your unit? It's not my unit. I'm public request unit. I'm not the public disclosure unit. Oh, are you the public request unit for the police department, right? Okay. All right. Well, I have this form here. Maybe you can um, maybe you can look it over and tell me if it's sufficient. I think it meets all your requirements. So I don't have any requirements, and I don't have anything to do with what you attach to that. No, no. I, the state the state has requirements. Okay, but that's through them. So you just need to attach it to your form. Okay. They'll call you and they'll discuss it. With you. I I don't actually need to discuss anything with anyone. I'm just trying to submit. A request for a public record okay. um, in accordance with RCW Washington State law. Okay. And so that that's it. I just give this to you. Then you, you have to fill out the form, though. Oh, I I have to fill out this, this form. Has to be filled out. Oh, really? It can't just be in writing. Uh, yeah, Mr. President, I could speak to you. Are in violation here, Washington State law. All right, I'll have a seat. So what do you want me to do? I've moved out of the way. wasting our time. Sir, I'm sorry if I just took really in. You know what? You, know what? you just keep it to yourself over there, okay? Thanks, I really appreciate that. I don't want to have to involve them in some way. With you. Thank you. Why would they? I should be involved. You can leave me alone. If you don't call my mom, all right. Well, I just I just want to apologize. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Are you familiar with Washington State Public Records Law? No, I am not. Oh, okay. Are you the public records person? No. This no, okay. Is public request unit. You want public disclosure because it's two different units. Well, could I have you look at just what I want here? Maybe you can tell me if I'm in the right place. That's all I'm... Can you start? I need to leave that I'm videotaping you as well. Oh. Okay. Video and audio? Yeah, that's your civil right. Just so you can. I just have to inform you. Yeah. Um, this is all I'm actually after right here. I'm attempting to document the process of what it's like to come into police headquarters and file a simple public records request according to Washington state law and according to the information presented on your website. As you can see, the public records I've requested in this document say that they're located in this building. And I don't want to do anything special. I just want to give you the form and then have you fulfill the public record at the contact information. I don't need to speak to anyone. I don't need any special public treatment. Public disclosure, not our unit. So okay. you will need to fill that blue form out. Can I get this information? That's at number one, right there on that sheet. Can I get that information by filling out this form? Yes, you can fill that out. And can I attach this? Uh, you can if you wish to. All I do is distribute reports, that's it. Anything okay. other than this requires you to fill that out. So can I fill this out, attach it, give it to you, and you'll accept it? I will take it up to the unit that does this work. The information on your website, it says that for me to get that information yeah. at number one, I'm supposed to come here to this address and submit something. And so you're saying that I have to fill this yeah, out? Yeah, that. That's what you, okay. yeah, we need that. And fill out as much as you can. But if you want to attach this, I will attach it for you. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. The, the last thing I just want to say is this form, I asked the woman if it needs to be all filled out. What, what of my personal information do I need to put on this form to submit the request and have Just it processed? Just your name, I need to see ID. Oh my gosh. And then whatever <laughs> else you need, like if you want uh, video, audio, ma'am, notes. I really appreciate you trying to help me. Yeah. But can I ask you just one question? If I pulled out RCW Washington State Public Records Law and showed you that it doesn't have to be signed, that I don't have to provide ID, that all those things are not true, and I just want to get this request done the legal and lawful way. You would, you would accept it or what? I mean, I, we're used to asking people for ID. I understand. You do not want to show 
What I want to do is I just want to request it within the law. I want to abide by the Washington State Public Records Law, and I just want to request it and give it to you. Yeah. Okay, well, make your request. Okay, but okay. it's not going to be signed. It's not going to have the information you say is required. If you don't want to, if you don't want to sign it, you don't have to. Okay. That's, that's that's your choice. Okay, just as long as it's processed. That's all I care if about. If there's an issue with it, it's not me. It's going to be the other unit who will process this. Okay, so yeah. someone will look at it and they'll know that. Yeah, but it won't be me. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me put the information that's on this yeah. form, on this form, which is just... There's no incident, there's no date of incident, there's no location of incident, there's no investigating officer, there's no geo number, there's no serial number. All this is invalid, okay. the signature is not required by Washington state law, neither is the name, the address, or the phone number. Oh, oh that's up to you, because okay, I'm so. not processing it. Okay, so there you go, I just want to give it to you so, and just get a receipt. Um, if they want to contact you, then they can contact me at the information right now. Okay, now I'm gonna have to write this because they won't thank you, thank you understand very much. this. Okay, it's zero seven. Okay. And then zero seven. One seven. One seven. Seven six. Seven six. At and so you choose now to provide a name. Correct. Okay. Uh Yeah, it's it's a little funny address because it's Italian. That's why it has a little okay. so funny thing. So you don't want your address? They told me so. SPD told me no. either. Okay. Well, it's that's no problem. That's no problem. Uh, I just okay. want to make sure that you're okay. clear. I'm clear. Yes, I'm very clear. <laughs> I, I want to be clear to make sure that you get whatever it is that you want. Right. Okay. There's no incident number, no date, no location, no investigating officer. You don't want any of this. Well, it's not. It's not relevant to the request. This. Yeah. Just the. Okay. Just um, if you look on there, I'm asking about your your policy for the Seattle Police Department manual. Yes. It was recently updated on April 1st, 2019. And, that, and all that, what you're saying is right in here. It's right there on number one. I'm actually, yes. I'm, familiar, I'm familiar with their policies. They just had a revision. I just want to know what it is. That's, I'm civilian and they're, they're sworn, so we do two I, different things. I see. Yeah, that's it. So I'm not, I'm not a sworn officer. I'm okay. just a civilian. Right. Well, yeah. me too. So oh, okay. that's fine. Just want to make sure that you know. Please take this for your personal yeah, that, use. That would be interesting to read if you don't mind. If I can have it. You can have it. Yeah. I mean, it's no problem at all. There's lots of useful information on there. The standard set by the the Seattle Police Department in their ethical policy manual is very high. And so it's very difficult for people to meet some of these ethical standards. In this case, it's the public records law. This guy's doing a great job so far, but. So when you uh, put your your little uh, program together, make sure you say that I was, you know, trying to be helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think I think that you are trying to be helpful. I'm not going to say much. I don't. I mean, it's an objective know, record. It for itself. Right. It's an objective record. There's nothing okay. for me to say or add to it or to take away. Um, the, the failure of duty by public officer. You might want to tell the other lady about that. And in terms of I, in, in terms of identifying yourself, you you need to identify yourself as a city employee. That's well. Look at the city ethics code right there. Just the name, not the birth date and address. Of course not. No, and I would and I wouldn't ask you for that. The only reason I'm asking is for accountability purposes, okay. for transparency. You're supposed to be transparent. You'll see in the ethics code that I've given you. It's the it's the city ethics code. Okay, so you you need to identify yourself, right? You need to be transparent and polite and ethical. Well, and let, let me ask you this: Would do do you think name tags would be helpful? Yeah, I mean, if the police didn't have name tags, they would never identify themselves. I mean, there's very few police officers who will identify themselves with pride and say, "I'm this person. This is my name and badge number." When you ask them, they they usually say this: "I'm right here," and they point to their chest. "I'm right here." They're Mr. Right here, you know? So that's oh, the name tag. They point to the name tag and they say, I'm right here. Not for all officers, because all officers are not the yeah. same. Some right. have right. some have a, a high level of integrity and respect for the law. And some enforce their feelings and egos. So that's essentially what we're dealing with here. Thank you.
and if this public records request comes through and I get the public records, which is, it, you'll see if you read it, it's a very simple request. It's, um, if that comes through, then I'm going to follow up with that. I'm going to publish the result. Whether or not you guys provided the record to me within five days, well, the re a response within five days. And, you know, that's all going to be out there. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. All right, have a nice day. I'm sorry for all, all the people I made in, in, inconvenience. Oh, was there somebody else with you that needed? Well, this guy right here, he was angry that I was filming. He said I was frustrated. I was holding things up. Or oh, he was frustrated. Yeah, it's a, it's it's okay, sir. That's why I wanted to apologize to you. You know. Well, see, that was nice for you to do that. What's that? To apologize. Well, yeah, I, it, my point is not to inconvenience him. It would be better for me if this whole place was empty. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm helping you, so I'm focused on I'm you and not anybody else right. around you. So yeah. Yeah. All right. It doesn't matter if you have oh. video camera. recording or camera, uh, audio, camera. audio. I'm here to help you, so that's the bottom line. Well, thank you. Thank yes. you. That's all I want. All right. Have a nice day. Thank you, officer. Hey, and officer, I appreciate... I, I heard you when we came in here. And you came in the office here and you told the lady, you said, you told the two ladies, you said, you see these guys with cameras? And I might be misstating you, but you said, you see these guys with cameras? This is a public place they're allowed to be in here, right? And I really appreciate that because a lot of times the people behind the desk, they just don't know. And it's very, it's, it's sure. odd. It's not a normal yeah, everyday thing. You imagine why that would be off footing, right? To yes, them. yes, I can. To let them know that they were being recorded. Yeah. And that we didn't comply with that. And, and you let me know I was being recorded. Sure. Well, yeah. And we're all being recorded by these cameras up here, right? This is all video up here, but yeah. this is audio and video. Right. For that reason, I need to let you know. So that's your policy to tell me, right? Okay. What up, Um. <laughs> Never mind, you know, I was just on the edge of requesting a copy of that video. But m maybe I'll come back another day when you're not here and I'll test another officer and some, some other people here. And you can make that request if you choose to. Well, if this request is fulfilled, then I probably have no reason to follow up on that. Okay. But, um, you know, I don't know. But I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you coming in because you preemptively de-escalate the whole situation. And that's that's great. Appreciate that. All right, thank you guys. Have a good one.